Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about multinuclei model in urban and regional planning. This multinuclei mo model in urban and regional planning consists of different nuclei. This is the concentration of the activities like central business district, wholesale light manufacturing, low class residential, medium class residential area, high class residential area heavy manufacturing areas, outlying business district, residential suburb, and industrial suburb. The multiple nuclei model is an economic model created by Harris and Edward Ullman in 1945. This model describes the layout of a city. This was based on a study of Chicago city. Modern cities were complex than suggested by other theorists. Each nucleus acts as a growth point. Growth occurs toward, towards from each nucleus until they all merge into one larger urban area. This theory also says that even though a city may have begun with a CVD, it will have other smaller CVDs develop on the outer skirt of the city. If other CVDs develop on the outer skirt of a city, they would be around valuable housing areas to allow certain commuters to to the outside of the city. Harrison Ullman argued that cities don't grow in a single nuclei but several separate nuclei. Each nucleus acts like a growth point. The theory was formed based on the idea that people have greater movement toward due to increase in the vehicle vehicular ownership. This increase of movement allows for a specialization of regional centers. The number of nuclei around which the city expands depend upon situation as well as historical factors. There are different effects of the industry also. As multiple nuclei develop, certain types of transportation like airport are created. Those allow industries to be established with a reduction in transportation cost. These transportation hubs have negative effect. Some effect are noise pollution and lower land value. Hotels are also built around airports because people who travel want to have their source of transportation nearby. So there are different in the multinuclear model it also says that there will be different cluster of, of the housing areas like low class. Low class residential area are closer to manufacturing hubs because they want to get job nearby. Sometime if the laborers are brought from other areas they will try to reside near the manufacturing area. Which tend to be non minimal skilled job. They also tend to have low wages, which in turn lead to a low class resident. Medium class residential areas tend to be closer to CBD. It also has more space to expand out to this for the population which are which are growing and uh, which will have more skilled jobs. Then there will be higher class residential areas which tend to be the in the outskirt of the medium class residential areas. The area is also touching the outlying business district. The job that the people in the district do are usually a skilled labor and have high incomes. So you will find that there will be different nuclei of the city which will act as a growth point like there might be some business growth point, there might be some wholesale business, there might be some manufacturing hub, there might be some transportational hub, there can be educational and institutional hub which will also act as a nuclei in the city. Thank you, thank you for discussion. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. We will discuss another topic in our next lecture. You can subscribe to our channel now and stay tuned for more lectures.
you can click on the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new lectures soon.